What if you had something worth holding on to? Something you spent years saving to buy. A place for your family. A place you call home. And then something came along and took it all away. What would you do? We know just how much your home means to you, which is why we're here to help you in the aftermath of life's storms and make it like it was before. Sunshine Insurance, here to protect, here to make it right. Happy Fools, Happy Fools, two for two, two for two. Happy Fools, two for two, food galore just for you. Happy Fools, two for two, food galore just for you. This ain't no talking show, it's an eating show. Sasha Laurel is the host of Happy Fools, two for two, food galore just for you. Happy Fools, two for two, food galore just for you. Happy Foods, two for two, food galore just for you. Hey everyone, it's your girl Sasha Lorella, and welcome to another exciting episode of Happy Foods 2 for 2. And today we are in the Eastern District of New Providence with the new Duff. We're going to go inside and talk to Ken and find out just exactly why he's doing this. So we are here with the new Duff inventor, Ken Delaney. Kendrick Delaney. That's correct. Otherwise known as, I'm going to call, it's too much to these Ken, Kendrick's, Kenny's in the room. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. So Ken is the inventor of the new Duff. And Kendrick, just tell us a little bit about how you even, like, like where did it start? Yeah, so I, I moved back to the Bahamas just recently. I spent about 16 years traveling the world. I lived in Singapore, Toronto, Boston, and I, you know, this is one of the most iconic uh, Singaporean you know, or Chinese kind of foods, mm -hmm. breakfast mm -hmm. items. They have the steamed buns. And just tasting those was so familiar, the texture to steam the duff. So I thought, you know, maybe I could do a mashup and see how that comes out. Okay, so that takes me straight into my next question would be the name. You call it the new duff. It's because... Because my sister said so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's simple. Yeah, we, uh, we had a few different names. I thought mm -hmm. it was Duff Catering, Duff, you know, and Duff, all kind of different things. But she said, why don't you just call it the new Duff? It's, mm -hmm. it's new, it's fresh, it's, it's individually packaged, um, and then it just stuck. Now, guava Duff is like a Bahamian staple. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why would you even, or let me not say why, what possessed you with the courage to yeah. change what we know as Bahamian Guava Duff. So when you're unemployed, you get yourself mm -hmm. into some really fun business, which is how this whole thing started. I was uh, sitting, you know, sitting at home and I really like working with Instagram because I think that Instagram could really help a lot of people propel their business uh, a lot further. And mm -hmm. um, just being at home, kind of experimenting with different things and being able to you know, package them up together. Um, but the reality is, you know, guava duff, as you say, is the most iconic Bahamian dessert. Mm -hmm. It's not something you could do wrong because people will let you know. Mm -hmm. And, you know, fortunately, I think that what we sell is really not duff. It's really that Bahamian home experience. It's mm -hmm. that nostalgic Grammy duff te texture in a new packaging. All right. So you all heard from Ken. Ken, this is not a talking show. It's an eating show. Uh -huh. So what I want you to do is give people all your information how they can reach you, whether it's by phone. If you want to give them your location as well, that's mm -hmm. up to you. But your phone number, hours of operation, how they could find you, all the social e media information, email address mm -hmm. if necessary. So right now you can find us in uh, popping up around the city. We have a, a nice little uh, cart, um, but we're always open here at our house from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day. Mm -hmm. So you just give us a, a phone call or you could drop us a, t a text message, WhatsApp, and then you could pick up your order. On Fridays, we're at the post office, right at the foot of the hill where the bus stop comes in from 11 till 3 p.m. And then on Saturdays, we're at the farmer's market. So all of the Grammys come out there to kind of <laughs> ridicule me. And then after a while, they, you know, they fall in love with it. But we're there from 9 till 3 o'clock. And I think that that's probably the best place. There's a, foot, a lot of foot traffic there. So you could come out and see us at the, at the farmer's market. Give us the number that you can text or WhatsApp to reach you. So to WhatsApp us, you can WhatsApp us at 1-242-395-6639. And what about an email address? Email me at kendrickdelaney at gmail.com or you can go on Facebook slash The New Duff or Instagram slash The New Duff. Okay. 
Okay, I was just going to get asked you with the social media information. So, guys, you all heard it. All the information you need to know from Kendrick. Make sure you try it out. I've already tried it. I've tried it several times, and I like it. He knows what's my favorite, so maybe I'm going to get my favorite today. I don't know. Stay tuned. You're watching Happy Foods 2 Happy Foods 242 is brought to you by Sunshine Insurance, Coca-Cola, 100 Jam, Hot 91.7, Ronzoni, Milo Ballo, Bahamia Rental, and Flying Dutchman. All right, welcome back to Still Watching Happy Foods 242. Got to shout out some of my sponsors, Coca-Cola, Bahamian Rental, 100 Jams. Thank you so much for coming on board for season 10. We're still here with Ken, and Ken is now going to take us through a little bit of the process behind the new dough. Mm -hmm. So we make really big batches of dough. You ready to get your fingers dirty? Just <laughs> wonder where. All right, so we got, we're going to start with a lot of flour. Okay. It's take forever. It's a lot of flour you got there, Ken. Four. That's like five. So we make about 70 dozen duff a week. 70 dozen. Yeah. Nah, I'm not good with math. 70. How much that is? It's like almost 800 pieces. Uh, you know, we sell them individually and we also mm -hmm. sell them by the dozen. So, you know, you can get a deal if you buy more than at least 12 pieces. Okay. What's, what's been your biggest order today? Like an order that kept you up all night. You didn't think you were going to make it, yeah. but you did. Actually, you know, jollification was, was crazy for us. We okay. sold about 2,000 pieces. So we spent the whole week really um, pumping out those stuff. Mm -hmm. So now when you get your big heap of flour like this, you need to add some ingredients. Now we add just a little bit of sugar. Okay. Because, you know, in guava uh, duff, the sauce is already quite sweet. sweet. Yeah. So we got about, you know, just a tiny yeah, this bit of sugar. this is like a mountain of flour. Mm-hmm. And this is just one batch. This makes about six dozen duff, dufflings. Okay. So we do one and a half. Whoa, that's a lot of sugar there. Now the key to any pastry I tell all of my friends is you gotta add some salt. So a lot of people miss this, this step, you know. Salt, you would never think it should be in, in a pastry, but this is really important for all. Any, if you're baking a cake, making pancakes, add mm. a little bit of salt to it, okay? Why? Salt just balances out the flavor because if you have all the sugar, mm -hmm. you know, and you're just feeling sweet, 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 it doesn't hit you, you know, with, uh, with all the other flavors. So this helps with the guava, and we have a lot of different fillings. It helps, you know, bring them out. All right, so you want to make a, a well in the middle here. And if you can help me, just, we're going to add this butter next. Okay. That I can do. You can do that. The whole, the whole stick? Yeah, the whole block. Now we, you know, we give it some cinnamon into the dough. And this is nutmeg sugar. We grind up our own nutmeg so we can have a bit more of an aroma. Woo! Yeah. Right. There you go. So, key to making this stuff is you gotta get the butter all mashed into there. Yep. <laughs> so, we gotta squeeze it. And we wanna make sure that we get it all suited out the dough. So, obviously, your butter has to be room temperature then? Correct. Okay. Now, if you don't mind helping me, we, this is a yeast dough, so you can take those measuring um, spoons right there and mm -hmm. put it in this cup of water. This is the yeast there. You're going to use two Which big tablespoons, the, the plastic container, yeah, that one. So what am I doing? Putting it in here? Put or putting into it the water, yes. Two? Yes, please. Okay. I could do simple maths. That's <laughs> 70 dozen. Two. All right, gotcha. All right, and then what we do next is we add a little bit of sugar to that water to um, to get it all going. So, some sugar. You just pinch it with your fingers. It's kind of heavy, and sprinkle that into the water, and then stir it up for me. So you want to make sure all of this is mixed together well. That's enough. A pinch. You say a pinch, right? No, a lot. Then uh, two big pinches. Oh, Jesus! You really want my there hands get dirty. <laughs> All right, it's done. Hands are dirty. You got to wake up the yeast. That's how it works. All right, so I'll put this on the side, and I'm going to mix it with uh, pork. 
So if you're making, you know, any kind of pastry with when you're cutting the the butter into there, you want to look for this texture where it's like really grainy. Mm -hmm. That means you can't see any big chunks of butter. If you see, still see big chunks like this, you want to rub those until they just disappear. Ken, did you go to school for this or you I, just this just happened? No, I went to school. I started off, you know, cooking with in my mom's kitchen. She mm -hmm. challenged me to be her cutting onions, and you know, I said, okay, I'll take I'll take a degree and come back and <laughs> <laughs> see how I can do. It. Um, but yeah, I went to COB, um, to the whole School of Hospitality. Mm -hmm. It's a culinary graduate there. And then I went off to Johnson & Wales to finish oh, my culinary yeah. degree. Oh yeah, that's the school now. All you right. haven't been to Johnson & Wales, you haven't really been nowhere. That's like the school when it comes to cooking and all that stuff. So this is your dough now. You're going to make a well in the middle. And then what we'll do is in a few minutes, just, you know, we're going to give this a second, but in a few minutes, we're going to add the wet ingredients to kind of make it all into one dough. Okay, gotcha. But I thought I'd show you a little bit more of the guava. If yeah. That's something. All right. All right, so you know we're doing some magic here, skipping straight into some of the fillings that Kenny's going to tell us about. And I know, obviously, traditionally, we would have our guava. Yep. So because we make so much stuff, we've been around Nassau shaking everybody's cheese, cheese for our guavas. <laughs> um, so now what we do is we mix our fresh guava with our canned guava so that okay. we can get the aroma and the te textures of the fresh ones. But okay. we can like, extend the, um, the volume that we're making because we make uh, quite a bit of duff now. Mm -hmm. um, so we have, obviously, we have guava, which is our most popular one. We stew this down for a bit with mm -hmm. some um, sugar and spices. We also have a Long Island coconut which is, you know, tr similar to a coconut tart filling. Okay. So we cook it down till it's caramelized, but it's oh, not no, too what I hard. That was. Tell me what you thought. I thought that was quinoa. <laughs> like, Kendrick is going to do a yeah. new duff with quinoa. We do. So, coconut. Yeah, we make it chunky, so it's not like this thin uh, shredded coconut. Okay. We also do a pina colada duff, where we caramelize uh, the pineapples first, and then we mix together with the coconut to get this, like, a wow. mashup of coconut and mm. pineapple. Nice. And then our most recent flavor, which has been a big hit right now, I think this is one of your favorites, is the sugar banana duff. So we fry the banana first, like how you fry plantain, mm -hmm. and we get it nice and brown and golden outside. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, we mix that with some cream cheese and a few spices. And the sauce is a brandy Earl Grey reduction, so it kind of adds that kind of another element of flavor to the duff. Um, all together, you know, how did you describe it? I think like a banana pancake. Or yeah, yeah, it tasted like a banana, like a sweet banana pancake or panty cake, as they say in the island. Correct. That's what it reminded me of. So these are, you know, our, our uh, flavors that we always have. We do have holiday flavors as mm -hmm. well. We had the pumpkin cream cheese duff that you had. That was so good, guys. Let me tell you, it was one of the best things I've tasted in a long time. Mm -hmm. And you know, we brought that out right after Halloween, after Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. and then for the Christmas, we we're having a. Uh, a red cherry from Japani um, almond paste kind of filling. Okay. With it, we call it a drunken nutcracker. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully this past Christmas you had got, gotten a chance to try that as well. So Ken, if let's say I want to order a couple dozen, right? Mm -hmm. But I want to tell you what I want my filling. Is that something you do? Absolutely. We mix the flavors, so you mm -hmm. can just call us. You, you can look on our li online on our Facebook or our Instagram page for the um, the types of fillings that we have and then mm -hmm. you let us know how much you want if you want three guava you want a couple of bananas and each stuff you'll see a little later when we steam them they're all um, marked so you can mm -hmm. you can know which stuff you're getting so and i can actually mix my order i don't have yeah. to get all guava i don't have to get all pina colada i don't mm -hmm. have to get all sugar banana yeah because some people aren't guava fans but mm -hmm. you know there's a, there's enough for everybody here who's that <laughs> i don't know anybody not a guava that. fan no yeah. no okay so we're gonna do some more magic you're going to see some more of the duff preparation. We're going to see the sauce as well. So, all right. So now we're talking a little bit about the sauces. And can you not just do a traditional yeah. guava duff sauce, mm -hmm. but you can do many different flavors. Yeah, for Tell each. us a little bit about what goes into the sauce. So for each of the flavors of the duff, we tried to, you know, innovate the sauces. So you could have something a little different. Okay. We got about three of our three staff members now. So everybody has something <laughs> new to bring to the table. Um, you employ your mom? My mom is our, she's our <laughs> full-time manager, delivery driver, slash duff maker, everything in one. Um, but yeah, we, so we make a coconut uh, sauce, which, which includes coconut rum and also nice. bite-sized coconut. For the guava, of course, it's traditional guava pulp mixed with sugar and butter. We don't touch anything else to it. You know, like it's, a, it's that real old-fashioned duff sauce. Mm -hmm. We do add rum to all of our so sauces. Um, and the uh, sugar banana is a reduction of Earl Grey tea in brandy, and we add that to the, the sauce as well. Awesome. 
Awesome. Yeah. What if I wanted a cream cheese sauce? Uh, well, for our, for our pumpkin pie, that's, that's what we had. We had cream cheese mixed in with the guava sauce. I'm oh, sorry, so with the good. butter. Yeah. And we had pumpkin spice to that one. Yeah. All right, guys. So you all have seen a little bit of everything. When we come back, you're going to actually see me eating a duff, and then we're going to join Ken to one of his pop-ups, talk to some of his customers, and find out if they really do like the new duff. Stay tuned. You're watching Happy Foods 2, 4, 2, Happy Foods 2, 4, 2 is brought to you by... Sunshine Insurance, Coca-Cola, 100 Jam, Hot 91.7, Ranzoni, Milo Butler, Bahamia Rental, and Flying Dutchman. Educational Services is a full-service tutoring center offering one-on-one -on -one sessions and small group classes for most standard subjects and grade levels. Are you one of the many parents who becomes frustrated with the daily homework struggle? With so many curriculum changes over the years, you may find that you're not even sure how to help them. Our team of tutors is here to help. We work with students in kindergarten all the way up to college level. We'll guide your child through their academic work so that you have more quality time to spend with them. During our sessions, tutors develop a strong rapport with the child so that he or she feels comfortable tackling problems without fear of making mistakes. We really focus on developing a growth mindset so that children persevere through even the most challenging assignments. You never know what kind of great programs we have on at Boost, so please stay current by checking out our website at boostbahamas.com and sign up for our mailing list. All right, welcome back, guys. You're still watching Happy Foods 242. Shout out to uh, Hot 91, Bahamian Rental, Sunshine Insurance. Thank you so much for uh, being part of the show. Milo Butler, too. Can't forget y'all. Ken, this is the magic yes. part. So here we have our classic wovo. Mm, uh, and now this steam yeah. is just like the boil in the bag. So the texture, for example, you can see is really soft and light and fluffy. Yeah, like pillowcase. Correct. And the guava is right in the middle. So I have the sauce also melted here for you. Uh -huh. mm. In our house, we like to pull it all the way up like this, just so we can show off. I was just going to say, like, <laughs> is there like a trick? All right, so let me get some of this. Let's see what's what. And candies, come just explain for our viewers again. You don't have to get guava. You can yeah, you get can, another flavor. You can mix the flavors. So we have four flavors now. Pina colada, mm -hmm. coconut. We also have the um, fried sugar banana duff that um, allows you, you know, it comes with a cream cheese um, and brandy sauce as well. What do you think? Yeah? So you, would your Grammy approve it, you think? Mm-hmm. All right. And then the second That's one I good. have, just for you to try, uh, if you want to try something different, mm -hmm. this is our sugar banana duff. Like I said, they all come marked, so my favorite. we can know the difference. So this little purple mark just tells us a different flavor. Okay. And this is the Earl Grey brandy sauce that you're going to have with it. Again, pull that up. Gee. <sighs> it looks so good. All right. So, Ken, your business is thriving, mm -hmm. to say the least. Any plans for expansion, you think? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, we were completely shocked by this, by the, the growth of the new Duff. Mm -hmm. And I think the new, the cart that we have really took it over the edge. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing for the new year, we're hoping to have about three or four mobile locations all around Nassau where you can get Duff. At, at Gerald Hart's Delight. So on Sunday night, you don't have to call us on WhatsApp us at 11 p.m. You could just go um, to your closest mobile card. Um, but we also want to open a small cooking school because I think that Bahamian food really needs to be on a platform for the world, the rest of the world to see. I agree with that. Um, and having lived overseas, I think that we have a lot of special things here um, that we can educate the rest of the world about. So that's my mission. My mission is to really conquer Duff. I want this to be the Duff. Uh, the standard so when you want when you want duff you can just go and pop one of these out of your freezer straight into the microwave almost like the bahamian pop tart but that nostalgic flavor of, of guava duff um and then of course we want to um like i said open a small cooking school where we could teach other people about bahamian cuisine that's phenomenal that's phenomenal now we're going to show you some of ken's customers at one of his pop-ups that we got to visit My name is 
Chris and I just tried the new duck for the first time and it's amazing. Uh, I got the uh, sugar banana and it, it's honestly one of the best desserts that I've had in a long time. Hi, my name is Kevin. I'm trying a new duck for the first time. It's a guava duck. Uh, what's different about it? It's more fluffy if you like the fluffy duck. And some way about it, they was able to pack more guava into the duck. So I just say this is an amazing dessert. Just give us all the information that people need to know again if they need to reach you, call you, email, WhatsApp you, all that good stuff. So again, the best way to reach us is on Facebook or Instagram. So it's facebook.com uh, slash the new duff, one word, or instagram.com slash the new duff. You can WhatsApp us too at 242-395-6639. And we can take your order that way. Or you can um, also give us a call and we'll also take your order. You can pick it up. We're at the farmer's markets on most Saturdays. We're also at the post office at East Street on Fridays. We'd love to see you. It's the most, you know, most exciting part of our day is to interact with you um, and to share this new product with you. This is awesome, Ken. Um, I just want to really just get into it. So we're going to close the show. Ken, you need to tell them what show you're on. So this is Happy Foods 2 for 2.